example. Today's video is going to be about how I am currently studying in my final year of medical school. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks and sharing how my study method has been helping me this year. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel if you are joining me for the very first time welcome and I hope that you join the family by subscribing um, I actually cannot believe that we hit 800 subscribers today it is insane because when I started this channel I honestly thought that you know I'm gonna reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and it's crazy that we are so close to the goal so right now we are actually on the road to 1000 subscribers so i just want to thank absolutely everybody that has been supporting me that has been watching my videos that has really been engaging with me and supporting me because i absolutely absolutely am grateful um in today's video however we're going to be changing it up a little bit i'm going to be talking about how i am currently studying in final year so I think that I've made a whole lot of mistakes to get to this point and I think that I've obviously it, it's actually been a trial and error type of journey so I just thought you know what let me actually share how I'm currently studying and how different it is from the previous years how different it is from high school and just share like little tips and tricks for how to actually handle you know the year that you're going into or the new module that you're starting or the new rotation that you're starting so this is specifically more so for medical students but i think that maybe i might share some other tips that might be helpful for other people that are studying other degrees as well or if you're actually still in high school it might be useful to start doing some of these things even now so yeah let's get into the video Okay, so the very first thing that I would love to share is the tip that you need to be organized and you need to plan ahead. So what I mean by that is, for example, I have started with my obstetrics and gynecology rotation. Um, I started it uh, like a couple of days ago and basically I'm going to be doing obstetrics and gynecology for the next six weeks. Um, I started with three weeks um, of obstetrics and then I'm going to be doing three weeks of gynecology and what that entails is me basically having to go into hospital for obstetrics, I've got clinic, I've got calls um, for gynecology, it's a very similar setup as well but not as intense. So my first instinct was to write out a study timetable or a study plan so that I could almost space out all of the information that I would have to know by the end of the six weeks because at the end of six weeks I'm going to have to write um, a test I'm also going to have to do OSCEs um, for those that don't know OSCEs are pretty much practical examinations where um, they can either give you a patient and then pretty much you know ask you questions on the condition that the patient has or sometimes you just examine a patient and then the doctor's standing there and you need to just answer whatever questions they kind of throw at you um, so yes, at the end of the six weeks, I'm going to have OSCE sessions and I'm going to have a multiple choice question paper. So I need to space out all of the theory that I need to get through and almost manage it with the time that I spend in hospital, which sounds overwhelming because it really is overwhelming. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give you an example of what I've done. So pretty much every single week I've like kind of separated it into week by week and i kind of have monday tuesday wednesday thursday pretty much my whole week and i have everything written um in terms of what time i need to be in hospital how long i have to spend in hospital and all of my calls so for example this week i have two calls um between 4 p.m and 7 p.m 
yes we've got calls between 4 p.m and 7 p.m um and i'm pretty much going to be in the obstetric ward so i actually had call yesterday for the very first time it was okay um it wasn't like too busy thankfully and then i'm on call tomorrow as well from 4 p.m to 7 p.m so i write all of these things down to ensure that i'm not missing out on any clinical work late or just any of that because i really can't afford to miss out on any of these things because if you aren't present for these things you can get into trouble so for every single week i pretty much have separated that week that way so that i kind of know what my day looks like how much time i have um how many hours in a day that i can actually dedicate to studying the next thing that's also very very important is to write down my list of things that I need to study or complete for the day. So all these little stationary things that I'm got, that I'm showing you guys, I actually got from CNA for a quite a reasonable price. I think they were thirty rand for like an entire pack of things, and I love them because of the colors, very you know neutral and pastel colors. Um, there's also some at typo and you can also download these templates from Google or Pinterest and I think it makes my life a lot more easier because I have an overview of what I need to do for the next couple of weeks or couple of months um, and it helps me break it apart because if I look at everything in its entirety, I will get overwhelmed, I will get anxious and I don't think that I'm as productive if I if I just think about so much work that I had to get through. So that is my very first tip, plan ahead. My second tip that I think that you should definitely do is to gather your resources. So what I mean by gather your resources is talk to people, talk to colleagues, talk to friends that have done the rotation or the module before you. Um, so with us, we rotate through modules so for example one of my friends has done obstetrics and gynecology before me and so I have asked him okay what do the doctors expect from me in hospital um and what topics should I focus on the most and how how much they would gauge the test like how hard the test was and from that conversation I've gotten a lot of my information so I'm not going into a rotation almost like lost about what to expect um, that helps a lot particularly in medical school another thing is to collect all the textbooks that you need so for obstetrics and gynecology i'm going to be using two textbooks it is this textbook called maternal care as well as a textbook called clinical obstetrics guys you can see how thick these textbooks are <laughs> you need to be smart about how you actually get through the work and then for gynecology i have this another very thick textbook um also called clinical gynecology so this is pretty much what i have to know in the next six weeks so it's obviously a very overwhelming but um, another way that i'm going to be tackling this is by going through previous student summaries so what i mean by this is i have pretty much printed um previous student summaries that have gone through the rotation before and this is basically what it looks like i've obviously made my additional own notes um and the, pay, the person basically just went through most of the very important topics and summarized it. Um, this saves me a lot of time because to summarize and to make mind maps already takes up a lot of time because I, for me, I know I have to do this and also go through the work again to make sure that I fully understand it, that I've memorized all the integral information. Um, but yeah, this saves me a lot of time and I am actually very lucky in the sense that a lot of people in my university are very, we are very um, friendly and a lot of people just share information with one another. We aren't stingy with resources and we aren't stingy with information. So a lot of the times we actually have access and we share with one another all the resources that we've made and the summaries that we've made. And I think that I'm very blessed in that sense. Um, Yes, so that is the second point. The third point that I want to um, focus on is something that is new that I've been doing this year, is flashcards. So guys, I wish somebody had told me about flashcards a long time ago. When someone told me about flashcards, I automatically thought of the old way of doing flashcards, like writing it all down 
and like having the question in the front and then the answer in the back like physically and you know that just sounded daunting that sounded like a whole lot of work and a time that I did not have but at the beginning of the year I watched um, a whole lot of medical school videos of students that are studying in the US, Australia, Canada, like basically other countries, just to kind of gauge how they're studying. And they mention Anki a lot. Um, and Anki is basically a website where you create flashcards and it works on spaced spaced out memory where basically the things that you keep getting wrong will continue to show up until you get them right and the things that you remember very easily these cards won't show up as often because you've gotten the information um but it is great because how i study it is that when i start a particular block like if i do a topic so for example here i studied the management of labor um i've got my um flashcards ready and then i've got my summaries ready so that when i actually want to just go through something in bed for example i'm able to make sure that i can just go through these summaries in bed or wherever and yeah and i have the textbook open so i've got basically three different resources that i'm going to be putting in my information and collating it in and it helps me a lot so elaborating onto the flashcards i use brainscape which is a website very very similar to anki i actually prefer brainscape because it is an app it is online you can download it on your phone you can download it on your laptop you can download it on um, an ipad if you use an ipad and it helps a lot in the sense that it separates the different topics so i'm going to show you guys a snippet of what i mean so what i mean in this in this instance is that you open up the app and here you can see that I've started obstetrics and gynecology, which is going to be what I'm doing for the next six weeks. From then on, I break it apart into the specific topics that I'm going to be doing, maybe for the day. So for the day, I could have done management of labor. I could have done um, postpartum hemorrhage or antepartum hemorrhage. And when I open that up, I've got basically everything that is under that particular topic so i'll read the information from the textbook and then i'll make my flashcards how i make my flashcards is that i ask myself a question about the information that i'm reading so it's not parrot learning which which is something that i've been doing for the basically all my life like since high school all i did was memorize but you get to a point especially in medical school when you realize that memorizing alone is not enough you really do need to understand you need to have proper insights into what you're learning because at the end of the day you're going to be out there in the world you're not going to remember everything it's too much work to memorize so by forcing me to think about the question um, and questioning myself I then get to the answer and I almost anticipate what I'll be asked in the test or I'll in I anticipate what I'll be asked in hospital because we've got ward rounds doctors interact with you and they ask you questions do you know what's going on sometimes it's very scary <laughs> causes me a lot of anxiety but by doing the flashcards it has helped me a lot because it allows me to understand what I need to focus on and not focus on information that really isn't important like when something was invented that's not important in medicine well right now anyways um so yeah using brainscape has really helped me a lot um i think that i wish somebody told me about this when i was still in first year because it would have really helped me um, study and go through work easier what's nice about using flashcards as well is that once you've got, gotten through a topic you aren't going to go back to your textbook to read about it anymore if that makes sense so when i revise at the end of my fifth week for example i would have hoped that i have gone through every single topic that i need to in preparation for the tests and the oskis and then i will spend the next couple of days just going through flashcards and revising in that way i don't go back to the textbook because that's overwhelming that's too much work but i've gone through my flashcards and that is almost my way of summarizing the work and i know that if i do have to write the exam at the end of the year i'm not going to be overwhelmed by starting from the textbook um, or anything else like that. I'm just gonna go straight to my flashcards because it has all the information that I need. And that is basically how I've actually been 
going about studying this year i think that has made a great great difference and i think that you guys should check it out if you guys are interested also something that i wanted to actually add is all of these study methods obviously depend on what type of learner you are so for example i am an auditory learner um i am somebody that absolutely needs to hear something i need somebody to explain something to me i don't like reading textbooks and just going into a test with that information so my fourth tip is to utilize video content as much as possible so for me what that means is that i spend a whole lot of time on youtube so my favorite youtube or medical medical school or medical related youtube content is from sites like osmosis um armando um there's a whole lot of people that I actually, I think Paul Bolin as well. There's a whole lot of uh, websites or channels that I follow that have all the topics that I like to um, watch. So what I would start with is, for example, with the management of labor, I want to focus on the different stages of labor. I don't remember this content from third year. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to go onto YouTube and type in the different stages of labor. And what will come out is all the video content that will explain explain it to me in like 10 minutes. Once I've understood the content in 10 minutes, I will then go into my textbook and start making my notes in that way because things are coming together faster. I now understand that there's visual context. Um, I see the different um, you know, elements that people are talking about in a video and I can actually obviously add all the missing information from the textbook as well so that is a very very important thing that i do um i think that i also did this in matric i know that i struggled with physical science and mathematics and um every time i went to school and i wrote tests my marks just weren't making sense like my marks just weren't making sense because i was working so so hard but i was not studying according to my to the type of learner that i am and it only took me going onto youtube and watching a whole lot of mindset learn um lessons i don't know if mindset learn still exists but that's what i did so i struggled with physical science so whatever topic that i struggled with i used to start at youtube and watch mindset learn on that particular topic then i would turn into my textbook and summarize whatever i could and then i would do the past papers um that would be coming out at the end of the year because a lot of the times especially this is for matriculants they actually do repeat questions guys they really do repeat questions or even if they don't repeat questions they change like a small little detail but at the end of the day it's kind of the same question so i would suggest that you guys go through a whole lot of past papers if you can um i know that there's a lot of past papers that are online so that is my advice to tackling you know whatever you're going to be studying so yeah that is pretty much what i've been doing this year i am pretty much halfway through the year we have almost five months left and we are going to be writing exams then we have graduation and yeah it is then at the end of the year and i'm then hopefully dr masima but I just wanted to share this information with you guys because I think that, you know, it could help somebody out there that might be struggling right now um, in trying to find a study method. Um, I hope that this information has helped somebody and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.